Hello, my name is Jesse and you're welcome to a powerful series on how to transition from an absolute beginner to a professional or specialist in power system analysis using ETAB software. Now, if you're new to this channel, I actually need a favor from you. No, actually, I need a couple of favors from you. First, please subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe icon. Now, you don't need to worry because it is absolutely free. Secondly, like and share this video to your friends and loved ones. Lastly, turn on the notifications by clicking on the notification bell in order to get notified as soon as I upload a new video. So, in today's session, I will be teaching on how to improve the voltage level of an AC electrical power system using tap changing transformers. Now, I have already explained the concept of tap changing transformers, principal tapping, onload and offload tap changing transformers, as well as why tapping should be done on the high voltage winding of the transformer. I explained all this in our ETAP community. And if you miss this explanation, can you drop a comment below so I can add you to the ETAP community. So diving right into business. Today we'll be improving the voltage of this system and we can perform the load flow analysis. But before that, take note of this load flow study case. Now in the loading category, we are making use of zero effect loading category and generation category zero effect. Now, if you don't understand what this means, I created different scenarios for this and you can understand it by watching my previous video on how to perform a load flow analysis. So we're using zero effect configuration and we click run load flow. Now, from the load flow results, we can see that this bus bar is critical, it's red. These ones are all red. And they suffer a slight level of under voltage effect. Now, I've explained results, how to understand results displayed by ETAP software. You can check the description below for the link to that lesson. And we can see this one is at 94.21%. This is at 92.76%. Now, we the primary objective of this tutorial is to improve the voltage level at this point, this red, these critical areas. And we'll be doing it with the aid of these transformers. So, the first thing you need to do in order to improve the voltage is to go to the study case and click it and click on this transformer load tab changes and click OK. Next thing you do now, remember that this bus bar is critical and all this down is critical. So we, we are going to perform the tap changing on critical buses. Now using the transformer connected to those buses, remember, we'll go to the tap. Now remember, it is always done on the high voltage side and this is a step down transformer. So it will be done on the primary side of the transformer. So we'll click on this. This is now an automatic automatic voltage regulator in the tap changing transformer, meaning it automatically sets the required tapping to regulate the voltage of the connected bus bar. So we we'll click on this. Okay. And we do it for all the transformers which are connected to a critical bus. Just do it first. So we are tapping on the primary.
and we are done so we <coughs> sorry we've done the tapping on all these transformers and now like i said it will automatically update the level of tapping that is necessary to rectify the under voltage effect once we run the load flow analysis so once i run the load flow Now we can see that we are no longer having an under voltage effect here. We are no longer having an under voltage effect here too. So our aim has been accomplished. Now we can also observe that the magnitude of percentage tap is being displayed here. Now this tap P means tap on the primary. And we are having minus 6.875% tap. Now, in our explanation in the ETAP community, I, always, I also explained what it means to have a negative tap and a positive tap. So, if you open the transformer tap rating page, you can see that it has automatically updated to minus 6.875. So, automatically, we have improved the voltage level of this system by the use of tap changing transformers now i also explained that the tap is in ratio of two and a half percent now this is it you can see it's 2.5 it moves in steps of 2.5 5 just like that 2.5 0 minus 2.5 just as i explained now we can go to the results Report manager and result to view the load flow report. Remember in our previous lesson on how to interpret loads, I explained something. I said that you can see the tap, the amount of tap, the magnitude of tap on each bus bar. Now, take a look at this one. We do not have tap on bus one, bus two, bus three. However, Was it? We are having a minus 5.625% tap. So if we go to it up, this is bus 8. This is bus 8. And if we should check the tap, this is it. Minus 5.625, meaning the result is accurate. Now we also have for the others 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 as minus 6.875%. Now, if we check, you can see each of them is minus 6.875% tap on the primary. So, with this, we have successfully improved the voltage of this network. Now, however, in our next lesson, I'll be showing a more efficient way of improving the voltage of this system. So, see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.